The name of this project is student management system. It consists of a few tables like the student table, which has student ID as a primary key, first name, last name, date of birth and gender of a student. And it is connected in a one to many relation with an address table in which one student can have more than one address. The address table has an address ID, which is a primary key, the address, the country, the zip code of the student and the student ID to relate to uh, which uh, student has that particular address. We have another table called a course table, which consists of course ID, the primary key, the course name, course description, sem semester in which the course would be given and the location where it would be held. A, a student can have more than one course and a course can have more than one students. So these two are connected with a many to many relation and this is managed by the student course mapping table, which is shown in the center here. It has a, relation, a registration ID as the primary key and a student ID as a foreign key and a course ID as a foreign key. So from student to student course mapping table, it's a one to many relation from student course many course mapping table to course is a many to one relation and overall the student to course I, uh, table is a many to many relation. The implementation can be seen here. So this is the whole implementation of the student management system project in which uh, uh, the user would get two choices one to enter students data and the other to uh, view the students data based on the student id so let's run this project right now Okay, so we have two choices here, enter data or view data. Let's enter one here. So let's enter the name as Ronak. And the last name as Patel. And let's say the birth date is January 1, 2007. The gender is male. is Mumbai country is India and the zip code is for example 290011 and let's enter uh, say two courses one is a Java development course and another is a Python development course so we have to enter student uh, the course ID here so we'll enter two say yes and we'll enter three and say yes and let's say enter another course say four and no we don't want to or add many any more courses so here it is shown that the student id of ronak patel is 26 so we have to keep this in mind to view the data so let's run the project again And the student ID of Rana Patel was 26. And as you enter, you get all the information of Rana Patel. It's his date of birth, gender, address, country, zip code, and the various different courses that uh, Rana has taken and where and in which semester they will be offered and where they will be offered. So to actually see the implementation, so the main Hibernate project or Java file has just the switch case uh, setup which uh, enters the data using setter getter method and if you want to see the actual Im actual classes and actual table implementation let's go individually so the student job java contains all the elements of the student table as you can see there's a student id the first name last name date of birth gender and the setter getter methods this is, basic, this is basically a pojo kind of class in which all the uh, all the variables are private and all the setter getter method is public and similarly the course table contains its uh, all the elements like all the elements all the variables are private and all the other setter getter methods are public similarly there is the address table which contains here many to one relation then there is the mapping table 
So this can this mapping table contains the registration ID for individual uh, student can, can, uh, having one course and the many to one relation to student and many to one relation to course and so so if you want to see the tables actually so let's go here and so let's see the table here first so let's select star from student So here you can see that student ID 26 of Ronak Patel with date of birth and gender has been entered here. So let's let's see the address of that student. So see student ID 20, 26 it has an address ID 21 who stays in Mumbai, India and with the zip code 290011. Now let's see what courses this student ID 21 has 26 has taken. So as you can see the student ID with 26 has taken course ID 2. Uh, and course ID 3 and course ID 4. So let's see what course ID 2, 3, 4 are here. Okay. So Course ID 2 is Java development, course ID 3 is Python development, course ID 4 is SQL development. So you can actually also club all the, actually join all the tables and see a data in just one table in one presentation. But this presentation can also be done. Uh, so yeah, this is way a student management system has been implemented by me. Thank you.